building meaningful relationships, 12 powerful ways. Hello there, welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here. Today we're diving deep into something really special building meaningful relationships. We all crave those deep connections, right? Those friendships and relationships that make life a little brighter and more meaningful? Well, you're in the right place. I've got 12 powerful strategies to share with you that can help you create and nurture those incredible bonds. All right, let's kick things off with a super easy but incredibly effective tip. Starting simple and open, trust me, it's a total game changer. You won't believe how much easier it makes things. Think about it. Social gatherings can be a little intimidating, right? It's normal to feel a bit overwhelmed. Everyone's milling around trying to figure out who to talk to. It can feel like a maze sometimes. But here's the secret. It doesn't have to be complicated. You can make it simple and enjoyable. Just be approachable and show genuine interest in others. A smile and a friendly attitude go a long way. One of my favorite icebreakers is simply walking up to someone and saying, what brought you here tonight? It's a great way to start a conversation. It's direct, it's friendly, and it opens the door for a real conversation. People appreciate the simplicity. I remember using this exact line at a networking event a few years back. It was a memorable experience. I was a little nervous, but I spotted someone interesting and just went for it. It was worth the effort. We ended up having an amazing conversation and discovered we had gone to the same university. Now we're great friends. It's incredible how a simple question can lead to lasting connections. Ready for tip number two? This one's all about finding common ground. You know, those shared interests that can really spark a connection. When you meet someone new, try to find those things you have in common. It could be anything. Maybe you both love hiking, cooking, or collecting vintage records. Suggest doing something together related to your shared interest. For example, let's say you both love hiking. You could say, hey, I've been wanting to check out that new trail at the state park. Would you be up for going sometime? I used this line on someone I met at a yoga class. We ended up going on a hike together the following weekend and instantly clicked. Now, we're hiking buddies for life. It's amazing how quickly a connection can form when you find that common ground. Get ready to laugh because tip number three is all about the power of humor. A good laugh can instantly lighten the mood and bring people closer together. It's like a shortcut to connection. Now I'm not saying you have to be a stand-up comedian, it's more about finding those little moments of humor in everyday life and sharing them with others. The key is to keep it lighthearted, respectful, and inclusive. Remember that time I told that hilarious story on the show about my cat trying to steal my pizza? It was a silly, relatable story that got everyone laughing and created a fun, connected vibe. Humor is a powerful tool. Use it wisely and watch your relationships blossom. Chapter 4 Compliments Sincerely Let's talk about the magic of compliments. Tip number 4 is all about spreading kindness and appreciation. Compliments can be a powerful tool in building and maintaining relationships. You know, those little gestures that can make someone's entire day. A kind word or a thoughtful comment can lift spirits and create a positive atmosphere. Everyone loves to feel valued and appreciated, right? So why not be the one to make someone feel that way? It doesn't have to be anything elaborate or over the top. Just a few sincere words can make a big difference. Just a simple, genuine compliment can go a long way. It can brighten someone's mood and even change the course of their day. For example, you could say something like, Wow, I really love your new haircut. It totally suits you. Or, That color looks amazing on you. It really brings out your eyes. Or, You did an amazing job on that presentation today. I was so impressed. Your hard work really paid off and it showed see simple genuine and heartfelt these small acts of kindness can have a ripple effect spreading positivity i remember once complimenting a colleague on their incredible organizational skills it was something i truly admired about them they were always so on top of everything and i just had to tell them how much i admired that quality it felt good to express my appreciation it sparked a whole conversation about productivity tips and tricks, and we ended up bonding over our shared love of color-coded calendars. It was a great way to connect on a deeper level. It's amazing how a simple compliment can open doors and create connections. 
So don't hold back. Share those kind words and watch the magic unfold. Chapter 5. Share a meal. Get your forks ready because this one's all about sharing a meal together. Trust me, there's something incredibly bonding about breaking bread with others. When you share a meal with someone, you're not just sharing food, you're sharing experiences, stories, and laughter. It can be as simple as inviting a co-worker to grab lunch together, asking a neighbor to join you for coffee, or planning a potluck dinner with friends. The key is to create a welcoming and inclusive atmosphere where everyone feels comfortable and at ease. I'm a huge fan of hosting dinner parties at my place. It's a chance for me to bring people together, try out new recipes, and create lasting memories. Chapter 6. Seek help. It's a strength, not a weakness. Let's talk about vulnerability for a moment. It's often misunderstood and seen as a weakness, but in reality, it's a profound strength. I know it can be scary to ask for help, but trust me, it's one of the most powerful ways to build strong connections. When you open up, you allow others to see your true self. Tip number six is all about embracing vulnerability and allowing others to support you. It's about creating a space where you can be your authentic self. We all need help from time to time. It's part of being human. And there's absolutely no shame in admitting that you need a helping hand. In fact, it's a sign of strength and self-awareness. When you reach out to someone for help, you're essentially saying, I trust you. This act of trust can be incredibly empowering. And that trust can create an incredibly strong bond between two people. It fosters a sense of community and belonging. It could be something as small as asking a friend for advice or as significant as seeking professional guidance. Both are valid and important. The point is to allow yourself to be vulnerable and open to receiving support from others. Embrace the strength that comes from seeking help and building connections. Chapter 7. Your friends have friends too. Get ready to expand your social circle, because tip number 7 is all about tapping into your friends' networks. Your friends are awesome, right? So, there's a good chance that their friends are pretty awesome too. You could say something like, Hey, I know you have a lot of friends who are into hiking. Would you be open to introducing me to some of them sometime? I actually met one of my closest friends through a mutual friend. We were all at a party together and my friend could just tell that we would hit it off. She introduced us and we've been inseparable ever since. Chapter 8. Spend Quality Time Tip number eight is all about making time for the people who matter most. Life can get crazy busy, right? But it's so important to prioritize our relationships and make a conscious effort to spend quality time with the people we care about. Even small gestures like scheduling a weekly phone call with a friend who lives far away or having a dedicated date night with your partner can make a big difference. The key is to be present, engaged, and fully invested in the moment. Put away your phones, turn off the TV, and truly focus on connecting with the person in front of you. Chapter 9. Deal with doubts and insecurities. We all have doubts and insecurities, right? It's part of being human. But those insecurities don't have to hold us back from forming meaningful connections. Tip number 9 is all about being honest and open about your doubts and insecurities. Now I'm not saying you have to spill your deepest, darkest secrets to everyone you meet. But allowing yourself to be vulnerable with trusted friends and loved ones can create a deeper sense of intimacy and connection. It's about creating a safe space where you can be your authentic self, flaws and all. Get ready to really tune in, because tip number 10 is all about the power of active listening. Listening is not just about hearing the words someone is saying, it's about truly understanding and engaging with their message. When you practice active listening, you're showing the other person that you value their thoughts, feelings, and experiences. So, how do you become a better listener? It's all about paying attention, asking clarifying questions, and showing empathy. Resist the urge to interrupt or offer unsolicited advice. Instead, focus on truly understanding the other person's perspective. Let's talk about the importance of reliability. Tip number 11 is all about being someone others can count on. Reliability is the foundation of any strong relationship. Whether it's a friendship, a romantic relationship, or a professional connection, trust and dependability are essential. When you say you're going to do something, do it. Follow through on your commitments, big or small. Be there for your friends and loved ones when they need you. And always, always keep your promises. 
Absolutely. Being reliable means being consistent and trustworthy. It's about showing up for the people who matter to you and proving that they can count on you no matter what. Last but certainly not least, let's talk about the importance of empathy. Tip number 12 is all about putting yourself in other people's shoes and trying to see the world from their perspective. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. When you practice empathy, you're creating a space of compassion, understanding, and support. Start by really listening to people when they talk. Pay attention to their body language and try to pick up on their unspoken emotions. Ask yourself, how would I feel if I were in their situation? Wow, we covered a lot of ground today. I'm so proud of you for taking the time to invest in your relationships. Remember, building meaningful connections takes effort, but the rewards are immeasurable. It's not about the quantity of relationships you have, but the quality of those connections. So. Focus on nurturing the relationships that truly matter to you. And don't be afraid to put yourself out there and make new connections. You never know where those connections might lead.